Hey guys, Steve here with Scotch and Things and another knife video unboxing. Um, <laughs> pretty excited for this one. Um, I know you guys might be seeing all these knives and thinking, geez, Steve, where are you getting all this money? Well, some I buy, some I trade for. And that's what's the nice thing uh, I found with knife collecting and the hobby itself is if you really get into it, um, you know, and you, you amass a bunch of knives and you find that you're not not using them anymore, uh, There's you can always trade on the secondary market and get something else and try it out. And if you don't like that, then you can trade that. Um, just a really cool, I think it's a really cool aspect of the hobby. Uh, so there's that. That's why you see a lot of knives coming and going. Maybe, maybe I buy, I'll let you know if I buy them, if I trade for them. So, but this one I traded for uh, and um, opening up with this bad boy. So, what do we have here? This is the Microtech SOCOM Elite Auto, which I absolutely, absolutely love. I don't want to cut anything, but we'll, we'll see here. Thing is razor sharp. Razor sharp. Good tape job. What do you think? What do we got here? A uh, dish towel. That's disgusting. Throw that away. So this is used and it is a little bit older. So I don't have the white box for it. But this is a Medford knife and tool. And you will know I am on a Medford kick lately. I absolutely... I just think they're just quality, well-built American knives that hold their value. Um, and they're just... They're awesome. That's my opinion. You might like not like them. They make giant ones, such as, you know, their biggest one. This isn't actually their biggest one. Their, their Praetorian tie. This is a Praetorian T. The Praetorian tie is just thicker dimensionally. Same, same footprint. So this is their big boy here. Absolutely love it. This is their Praetorian Slim, which is... You know, along the line, same lines, you can kind of see the finger grooves and the shape. Um, but this is a completely different knife. This is on on bearings, much smaller. They So if someone says to you, man, uh, Medfords, they're just big and they're dumb. And no, nah, he's got sizes. I mean, if you want to go crazy or something more reasonable, <laughs> he's got it. So I definitely say check it out. Um, because they are good, I mean, awesome quality American knives. So what we have here, what do we have here? And with anything, you know, the Medford card, pretty awesome. There's his cell phone number. Um, you can call him whenever you'd like. This is my first time handling one, so this is going to be exciting. Um, usually when I spend a lot of money on that, I like to hold it, but this is, I couldn't find one. And this is... A, this is the Medford Praetorian Genesis T. Oh my, that is a, well, you know what? That is about the perfect size Medford, maybe. This thing is really badass. Um, wow. Quick size, real quick. Line them up butt to butt so you can see the difference there. Um, very, very cool. Next, I want to get a micro. I was able to handle one of those and really dig it. So real quick here, this is an older knife. So like I said, this was used, but this thing is, let me look at it real quick, up close. Wow, yeah, factory edge. This thing is, there's no marks on the pocket clip. There's no marks on the handle. This is gonna be hard, man. This is a really nice knife. Um, wow, I really dig this, and I was gonna get this and beat the crap out of it. Uh, maybe it will, because you can always send it in and have it refurbished. You know, it'll cost you, but hell, it's just a knife, right? These aren't safe queens. I carry this. Um, I'm going to carry this. My one month, just so you know, um, it's gonna be a while before I get to this one month review. Um, that's what I've started doing. You know, I do the unboxing, the first look, first impressions, 
and then eventually I get to the knife and carry it for a month. Strictly just that knife and come back and give you my, uh, my thoughts. Well, I just started carrying this. My, my one month carry on my PM2 uh, is over and it's gonna be really hard, but I'm really excited to carry this. And then eventually you'll see a, a video on this. Quick story about this. So what I'm learning is, so if you look here, you've got the six, I got a weird glare, sorry guys. See that pivot hardware is six and this is two. Well, this is the older hardware and I was lucky. I've always kind of stayed away from the older hardware. I like the look of the six, not that it matters. Um, but what I was lucky is, so what I can best, I could probably get a hold of Medford and they can actually give me the real history on this. But as far as I can tell, I'm thinking this knife for my research was made in late 2016. Um, because how do I know that? Or why do I think that? Well, it's got the two screw or the two, the, the pivot with the two, two dimples. Um, and, but what makes me think that it's, it was late 2016 is because it's got their newer pocket clip. Okay. And the hardware comes, it's double-sided hardware. Do you see that? The, the, the screws are on both sides where in, I believe earlier, this is, I, you know, from watching videos and doing research, this came in late 2016 with this clip and the hardware on both sides, the clip, the screws on both sides before it was just a screw here, a body screw here, and you could see that it came through here. All right. So that's what makes me think this was uh, 2016. And you can, and another difference here is the fuller groove. See how it's rounded? And this one is more squared. I get these both in here. So do you see how this one is, is rounded? And this one is squared. So honestly, so it might just be the size of the knife, but I think with that squared fuller groove, you get a, a better grip where this rounded one, just my opinion, just first thoughts. It's kind of slick, so you gotta really, does that make sense? Oh my, who cares? I can, I can finger flick it, okay? How, oh, maybe my new favorite knife. Um, zero, let's, oh my God, I love these knives. These are just such tank built knives. Uh, early lockup. So this knife is older, but like I said, so this was, if you get on the, the perfect centering, but look at it, this thing looks brand new. I don't think it was ever carried. So I traded from a guy who had just literally got it. He literally just got it. Um, and you always kind of wonder like trading, um, what, you know, and guys are pretty good. So on the, I'm on two Medford, and like I say this all the time, get on, I think Facebook sucks, but it's a great place for the knife groups. Um, and the Medford guys have to be some, other than the Spider Co, like the Medford guys are some of the nicest guys you'll find, very helpful. Uh, this guy literally just got this last week in a trade or he bought it. Um, and I, he threw it up and I, I threw out a trade and he said, yep. And I said, okay. And I think we both feel like we maybe got one over on each other, but uh, I traded a knife that cost me $4.95 for a knife that costs around, I saw pricing up to 900 because this is the, the PVD. Uh, so they're going from seven to nine, um, but this is the PVD finish, um, makes it a little bit more expensive. Who knows? So this knife was, its original MSRP was more than the knife I traded. So it's awesome. I mean, this, it's, this thing is so nice. I, I am in love. Okay, sorry, back to the story. So, but this, this morning I was able to find the guy who traded it and he had gotten into the trade. So these knives kind of pass around in the Medford community. Um, you know, there's a, a Genesis identical to this just about that the guy just got. And I said, Hey man, do you want to trade that? And he goes, no, I just got it. Uh, I said, well, if you, if you ever want, you know, if you ever want to get rid of your Genesis, um, I've got the big brother and I'd like to have a matching, a matching set. 
So I say cool, but if you look, these guys, that's what they do. They, they trade knives, they get them, they don't like them, they try them out, they try and flip them for something else. And um, he, so I talked to the original owner and he said, I honestly, it's factory edge. And if once you get it, he goes, you'll be, it, he got rid of it because it was too small for him. So he went from a Genesis, which he thought he would like, to a uh, Praetor, a full size Praetorian T. Um, and that's hard, you know. I On these higher end knives, you don't know the sizes. You can watch videos, but until you get hands on the one, like I was really shocked how small the micro was. Um, and I was really interested. Like I was originally, before I bought this, I was gonna get a Genesis, but then I thought it would be too small. Um, but this might be, like I carry this. I EDC this guys and I freaking love it. You know, it's a pocket hatchet. But this thing is absolutely amazing. Um, I am truly in love after just holding it for a second. Uh, I can't wait. But this thing is like brand new, man. The jimping's still sharp. There's not a single mark anywhere. Um, so 3V blade. This is my first 3V blade. Uh, pretty excited about that. Um, supposed to be super super strong uh oh i am i'm geeked man what do you think about the i thought with medford you can send them in and i do like the six shooter hardware better uh than the two i just think it looks better um and i'm not real big fan of the silver pocket clip and i was thinking of sending this in and having the hardware changed out which you can do and blacking it all out but um i'm it, this thing is such a mint knife uh, I just might keep it this way, you know, and it's going to get scratched up because I'm going to use this. Um, but like I said, they have their legacy services there. So if this knife ever gets really bad and all my knives are users, I don't have safe. I decided I wasn't going to have safe Queens. Um, there might be knives I use more, uh, but, um, I'm going to use them and I'm definitely going to use this. It does make me want to get maybe a user Genesis that I can really beat on, but um, no, I'm gonna, guys, I'm, I am totally going to use this knife. You will see my, so stay tuned for the, I mean, this is so new, it's got a tiny bit of lock stick. Um, this knife, yeah, just a tiny bit of lock stick, that's how new this thing is, it hasn't even broken yet. Um, not new, I mean, this is an old knife that was probably put in a safe and never carried. But I dig it. I love the size. There's my first thoughts and impressions. Um, let me know. Should I send it in? Should I leave the two star, the two whole hardware? Uh, or should I send it in and get it blacked out? I don't know. Now that I get it, I kind of dig the the contrast. I mean, this is a bit flashy, but you know who knows. Um, Jesus, guys, super super smooth. That that uh, I will let you know with that rounded fuller fullard. Um, it is, you got to kind of focus on getting your thumb in there to open it compared to the newer squared off versions, but ooh, I don't have to work on this. I, I had it earlier. God, getting my own hand in my way. Do you guys do that and you get something figured out and then you just change the position? Um, oh my God, guys, absolutely love it. Glass breaker, skull crusher, whatever you want to call it. Great ergos for me. These knives aren't for everybody, but I just love, I mean, look, you can, you can get in there and just, oh, I adore, I adore this knife. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Um, comment down below. Um, a lot of guys aren't into Medfords. They think they're too big, but uh, like I said, they've got just about something for anybody design wise. So there you go. Same same size as the Praetorian Slim, but uh, same length, I should say. But you can see the Slim is just slimmer, uh, a lot thinner. Um, they've got something for everybody. So if it's shape you're worried about or size, but they might not be a design you like. And I get that, man, I get that. So they're not for everybody. They weren't for me. I wasn't, you know, the first time I saw one, I thought, what that's useless um and then the more i learned about medford and the company i just fell in love and had to have one and now i'm on my third one and geez i i love it so thanks for watching guys um
Like I said, comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later.